So we are now live. Welcome everyone. Welcome from anywhere that you're tuning in from. This call will be a minimum, like just almost like 30 minutes or 45 minutes maximum. Be to make sure that I'm really able to share you with you great content and great value that will really be able to actually help you become profitable. My name is Dennis Mwabu. I've been training Forex for the last I think this is the second year. Uh, I began by a lot of failures, trying to develop a lot of strategies and everything. So what I'm going to just cut, cut the story short, what I'm going to be sharing with you here is not how I'm going, how I'm making a lot of money. I'm not going to be sharing with you how I bought the new car from Forex and all those things. I'm going to be sharing with you something here that will really be focusing on you. It will really be focusing on the strategy that I'm using and it will really be focusing on how can you really be able to fine tune your entries and how can you really be able to have a clear mind when you're, tra when you're trading. How can you really be able to really understand this is the exact thing that I'm looking at and you're not like your mind is not everywhere. Are you trying, you're trying to enter from a resistance zone. You're trying to enter from a supply zone and all those things. So for this webinar, for this training today, we have start, we have, we'll first start with the basics. Like what are some of the basic things that I'm going to be, that I usually look at before I get into the, into the, before I get into, into, I'm going to be starting with the basics before or what are some of the things I usually look at before I make the decision to take a trade. And then on the next call, which will be on on Wednesday, I'm going to be getting into the six on eight level. And then on the last call on Friday, I'm going to be getting now into deep details on the supply and demand zones, how to draw the supply and demand zones and all those things. So all I just want you to do is just pay attention, just take a look at everything that I'm doing here and learn and also this video is recorded, you can also watch it. So I'll start by showing you the trades that, I'll start by sharing with you the live trades and the trades that I took during the day. Uh, the trade that I shared today was a little bit busy. I was handling like something, uh, some things outside. So I was not like on my laptop full time, but when I came back, I was able to share some two trades. Actually today I said, let me even share with you my entries, NZD, USD. Cell limit, lot size five. This was where I, I shared the, the cell the cell limit. I'm going to be sharing with you. This is how the trade looked like. And I'm going to be sharing with you how it's looking like right now. If you've gotten a stop loss or if it, it has played our way. That was the first, that was NZD USD, USD CHF. Also, I'm going to be sharing with you wh where, how it looks like. So, at least those are some of the trades that I shared on the Telegram group, but I had, I also had others. For example, I had gold, which gold actually played so well. It like from our level here, it's like from my level here, it like got into, it gave me like 84, 84 pips. So these are the trades that I was watching today. USD CHF, this is the trade that I've actually shared on the Telegram group. And guys, it is actually almost hitting the profit you can see this was the entry this is live right now 13 it's almost getting into our uh, take profit so it's take profit one already hit on this trade take profit one already hit so you can like move your stop loss into break even to just make sure that your trade is loss free if you took that trade and this is the same trade i shared on the telegram group and then let's take a look at NZD USD. What's happening on NZD USD? Um, why is it hanging? So on the NZD USD, this was my entry. on this trade also what happened on this trade is it met all my entries but i didn't share it on the telegram group but as you can see this this strategy is solid like this strategy is solid there's no way you're having all your currencies 
on your watch list hitting all your take profits like it's crazy so let's do the analysis let me show you what i usually start with before i say i'm getting into a trade and before i say i am taking a trade all right i'll just show you something here that you always want to confirm i had written some notes for you here let's see on the city where was this It goes here, all right? The 618 strategy by Mabu FX. So, like for example, for me to decide that on this trade, I'm taking a sell, what are some of the factors that I was looking for? First thing, I want to go to the higher time frames. The higher time frames are the weekly and daily and the four hours time frame. So, what am I looking at the higher time frames? I want, like for example, this trade daily was bearish, weekly was bearish. Then the third confirmation was it touched my 618 level. So stick around with me. You'll be able to see how I'm drawing my 618 level. And it's usually specific. It has touched my 618 level on the one hour time frame and then touched my M15 and M5. So I want us to do a recap on gold on how I did the analysis for gold so that you can really be able to get the gist of it so that you can be able to understand it live. I usually say, Trading is practical, and I want just to see how how you. Ju I just want you to see how I usually do my analysis. So I'll remove all the drawings. Um, I think actually we can go to. Let me go to a site whereby we can be able to backtest tra trading view, but it is premium. So this is a premium trading view, so that you can be able to backtest. So this is gold. So we are going to backdate gold from today is on monday monday i usually trade mostly new york session and london session so you can just put it you can just put gold from the beginning of go like today in the morning so let me go to the honor thank you i think that's where we'll be able to so this is gold. I want to get it back until like today at seven. Let's say today at seven there. So today at seven, if I woke up early in the morning, you're assuming today it was at seven. What am I doing? And what am I really looking at? Right? What am I doing? What am I really looking at? So I'll come on gold, okay, I'll come gold. I'll look at, I'll first go, guys, don't don't undermine this. I'll go to the weekly time frame, right? I've, make, I've made sure that I practice this. I put the discipline to do this. On the weekly time frame, what am I seeing? What am I seeing gold doing? I'm seeing gold, it is on getting into a very strong level here, one, two, three. All right, as a resistance, and then I go to the daily time frame, and then after I've seen that also in the weekly time frame, I'm seeing that gold has created a high high. Okay, so that's a weekly time frame, and then I go to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, what am I seeing? On the daily time frame, I am seeing that gold has been able to. It is on a down. It has been able to. This is on a downtrend, like creating lower low, lower low, lower lows. And it has tapped into this weekly, created a high high in the weekly time frame. It has been able to break this zone. So all I'm doing here is, what I'm doing is I'm looking for market direction. I'm looking to see where is this, where is the market going? Because you, all, you always, I'm, I know you've heard this, but you always want to make sure that you're trading. For me, I usually trade with the trend, with price action of the higher time frames. So on my daily time frame, I'm able, I'm still able to see that gold is on an uptrend. But what is what gold is giving me is is what gold is giving me is this is the higher this is this was this was the highest point that gold reached here at at twenty uh, around. 2066 this is the highest point so gold has not like broken this level 
okay so what i'm seeing here is on the daily time frame it looks like gold is creating a lower low giving me that on the daily time frame gold is actually creating a lower low and it is moving towards a downtrend i'll go now to a four hours time frame to just confirm that on the four hours time frame i'm able to see what am i able to see on the four hours time frame on the four hours time frame i'm able to see right shoulder left shoulder if you see a right shoulder and a left shoulder what does that mean to you that means to you that you're having a downtrend right you can see right shoulder left shoulder there right left shoulder right so that means that this was an uptrend but it's having a trend reversal so how how am i confirming that this was a trend this was an uptrend creating a higher high higher low higher high here it was supposed to create a higher low but it broke and created a lower low and then created a lower high so what I'm expecting is gold will create another lower low here, having this as trend reversal, okay? So I'm assuming this is in the morning, these are my analysis. I'm just looking at price action first. Price action is key. You always want to make sure that you understand on the higher time frames, do we have buyers or do we have sellers? That's how I usually do it. And then when I've identified on the daily, weekly, and four hours time frame, that we have buyers or sellers if i identify now we have sellers for me what i'll be looking for is i'll be looking at selling on my 618 level right so how do i do it how do i look at selling on my 618 level so for me i've already seen that gold here we are on a downtrend definitely you have this trend line here we can draw it as my target right my target um caleb yeah, I'm recording this, so we'll be able to get it. Don't worry. Just focus on what I'm sharing. Um, so you can be able to see this this trend line here, right? So the next thing that I'm looking for is which major zone has been broken, which major zone has been broken and retested. I have this major zone here. It it has been able to be broken. You can see it has been able to be broken here, to test it here, and now we, we have that pool, so maybe I'll expect something like that to be able to have a trend continuation moving to the down. So for me today, I've already analyzed this in the morning. I've already analyzed gold, and I know what I'm looking for is I am looking for sales. So I'll go on my one-hour time frame. As you can see, we have started the day. Now, two time frames are in confluence, daily and 4H. They're showing me that gold is going to sell, okay? So on the one hour time frame, I want to use it as a confluence, all right? So what I'll be looking for is, I'll be looking for a break and retest and a break and a retracement to my 618 level. The 618 level, I use it through, I, I, make, I, I, I use it through a specific setting, which is the Fibonacci retracement setting towards the 618 level. And I'm just going to be showing you practically how I usually do it. So what will, what will happen is, it has started it has started like uh it has started moving so what will happen is let me see i'll draw my 618 level yeah this is my 618 level okay so on my 618 level i'm looking at this zone here 0 0.5 to 618 okay so on the one hour time frame the next thing that I want to take a look at is, or the next thing that I want to confirm and make sure that this is a solid level. I usually come on the M15, on the M15 time frame, and you'll be able to see that how you just be able to see how this is precise. Okay, so on the M15 time frame, uh, what I'll do is I'll be looking for a demand zone. So this is my M15 demand zone here, and then I'll go to the five minutes time frame and I'll be able to identify my M5 demand zone, right? And this is my M5 demand zone. So I have three confluences, right? I have the 618 zone, which is usually precise on the one hour time frame, And then I have my M15, and then I have my M5. Guess what? For me, if I see 
this setup and all the trades that I've showed you when we were beginning, anytime I see this setup, I usually take this trade automatically. So my scalping strategy, it is very, 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 very precise. Reason is you have to target specific pips. Otherwise, you'll be getting stop losses over and over and over and you'll be wondering what's happening. So let's say today, what time was this? This was around 10. Let's say today at around 10, I found gold here. Definitely, I'll be getting this entry from this zone. And let's see if it will get a stop loss or we'll get a take profit. So this is 20 pips. My target is usually very precise and very, very specific. Get 40 pips there. So let's see if I, I would have entered this trade on my M15 here. Let's see what will have happened. Um, so, okay, okay, okay. So gold it almost hit my stop loss, but it hasn't hit the stop loss. It just came up to see on this it's on eight level. So let me let me let me explain to you like why I like it. I like it so perfect. I it is usually so perfect, especially when you find the M15 and the M5 is inside my 618 level. So if I'll show you on the other currencies that you have been able to see. So if you see my if you see an M5 and M15 that is in the 618 level, stick around up to the end. I'll be able to show you how you can get the settings. These are my settings. If you go and take the Fibonacci, you'll not be able to get these settings. This is my settings specifically. And you can be able to see how it touched this 618 level and dropped completely. Let's see. Start the 618 level. My take profit is already hit, guys. Take a look at that. My take profit is already hit. I'm not interested with what the market does from that. For me, I've already achieved my goal and I'm gone. And I'm gone and I'm gone and I'm gone. So let's say, let's today, I was giving you an explanation. If the M5 and M15 is inside the 618 level, it's usually a good confirmation. But let's say today, uh, how could I have taken this trade? How could I have taken this trade? Let me remove this based on what had happened in the market. So this was a pool. This was the pool that was coming back to the 618 level. Let me remove this is the 618 level. Let me remove this. So on my 618 level, what will I be waiting for? I'll come here and see where is the M15. I can see the M15 is here. Okay, where is the M5? I can see the M5. Where is my M5? My M5 is here. And then I'm able to see here's my 618 zone. So if I'm taking this trade here as a shot. I just want to make sure that my stop loss is above my 618 level a little bit. Let's say here, that's 25 pips. If I'm getting 25 pips, you always want to make sure that your risk to reward ratio is equal. One is to two. Okay, then let's see what will happen. So this is how we could have taken this trade, right? This is how we could have taken this trade. So hit the 618 level. Okay, is it hitting my stop loss? Is it hitting my take profit? Let's see. So I'm sure this is like around maybe will this be London session or New York session? Let me open this indicator. This is London session, and you can see this is where all this volume is coming from. This is London session here. You can be able to see that the volume is coming from London session, dropping and going all the way. Hitting my take profit. And you can see here, here you can see here, this is the opening of New York session. So after this drop, when opening of London session, you have another drop here that is coming from um that is coming from this thing that is coming from New York session. So New York session, you can be able to see still gold came back to this level, right? Gold came back to this level. I'll just switch off this indicator just to make sure that 
you're able to see everything clearly going in the 15 time frame. Okay, you can see the reason I'm telling you, like I will have put my stop loss just above because you can see sometimes gold becomes very choppy. I'm going to be sharing with you an example also with another currency and you can see all the way almost taking out almost taking me out with like how many pips three pips almost taking me out with three pips and then going all the way hitting the hitting my take profit so this was a perfect trade for gold that i would have taken today using my strategy okay so let's get into another currency and do the same analysis so let me take a look at let me take a look at the currency that um, let me take a look at the currency that we are trading that I shared today. These are the currencies on my watch list. So USDCHF, USDC, USDCHF. This I actually shared this like this is live. This is live on my account actually right now. This is like still going to hold it to see if it will be able to take uh hit my take profit. And then another trade that is live is I think NZD, this one, NZD USD. Okay, so let's go back. Let's let's analyze USDCHF. Let me show you how I did this analysis. So USDCHF. Today, when did what time did I do this analysis? I, I, I know I did this analysis like at around five. So I'll put it at 16. At 16, that is four. So let's go. That is USDCHF. Let me look for USDCHF. USDCHF. Let me show you how exactly I did. And you'll be able to see how precise this 618 level combining with M15 and all those the levels you will be able to see how amazing and crazy these levels are. So the first thing that we do is identify your price action trend. Is it buying or is it selling? How do you do that? Go to the higher time frame. Remember, the, the higher the time frame, the more stronger the direction that it's giving you, the more probability that it will move towards that direction. So I'll go to the weekly time frame just to just to see an overview of what is USDCHF doing in the weekly time frame. So in the weekly time frame, I can see we have these bulls coming in, creating a higher high here. Like this, it was on a downtrend. So ideally, this I can consider it to be like a trend reversal. You can see. Like this was a lower low and then now it has created a higher high. So I'm expecting it to create a higher low and then create a higher high. So bullish, right? Weekly bullish. Daily, what are you seeing? What is it giving us in the daily time frame? On the daily time frame, still you can see a lot of bulls coming in. You can see a pullback coming in, a retracement. So we have a higher high still here on the daily time frame. So already daily, weekly, we're able to see that this is bullish. Now we can go to the four hour time frame and the four hour time frame. We can be able to see that it has created a new high, right? It has created a new high. So what are you having? We are looking for buys, right? We are looking for buys. So on the four hours time frame, I can just mark my support and resistance zone. I can be able, clearly to identify that this is a support zone and I can be able to see, ideally for me, if I identify that this is a support zone and I'm looking to buy, what I'll just do is, I'll just go to the one hour time frame. And the one hour time frame, I already know what am I looking for. I'm looking for buys. So if I'm looking for buys, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my 618 zone. On my 618 zone, I'm looking for an entry confirmation with the M5 and M15. So I'll just come here and see, am I getting any 618 level retracement? And yes, I've been able to see that it has stopped on my level here and it has been able to give me a pull to the up and I'll be able just to draw my 618 level. My 618 level is usually drawn strategically. From candle to candle, 
previous contrary candle that caused the move that made this break. And I want to show you how precise this is. So this is my zone here. This is my 618 zone. Remember, in my mind, I know what are you doing? We are buying, right? In my mind, I know like we are buying. So I'll just like bring this back here before this trade happened, before this trade happened, this was like, this is when I was analyzing this, it was like around 16, before it happened. So in the next 10 minutes, this zoom is going to be over. So I'm going to just make it quick. Okay, so if, so this is coming to my 618 level. On my 618 level, I'll just go to the M15, on the M15, I'm going to be looking at supply and demand zones, right? So here I can see my M15 demand, and then I'm going to begin to my M5. On my M5, I'm going to be looking at... So this is usually a very good trade, man. This is usually good trades. If you find like M5 and M15 are in confluence, M5 and M15 are in confluence, that is an amazing trade, right? So what I'll do is I'll come and look at my entry here as a long position here, buy limit, okay? Specific pips, 20, 10, I usually target 10 to 20 pips from this zone. And I've been able to test this strategy over and over and over to be able to see how it's working. So let's see how this trade played. Actually, it came this way, played, and boom. And you see how these levels are actually precise. Like this is a live trade right now. And this is how it played. Okay. Right now, we are looking at take profit one hit. And guys, I want to show you, I shared this trade. Can you see how precise, like I'm looking for buys. It has stopped my zone here. It has stopped this zone here, this level here. It has given me a 618 level on the, on the 618 level. On the one hour time frame after one hour time frame i can be able to see confluence of m5 m15 i've just simplified this thing by removing all those hard concepts of liquidity sweep of what what all those things right this is liquidity sweep. i know that but how do you want to make this thing as simple as possible okay so here's the thing guys um I have I have a lot of offers that I don't think I can be able to share with you here on this uh, Zoom calls. If you really want to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, you really want to master this 618 level strategy, you've been able to understand. Today, you've looked at price action. On Tuesday, we're going to be looking at another currency, how you're going to analyze it. Just make sure you attend these calls each and every day so that you can be able to master this. I usually give this the settings for the 618 level to very individuals who want to join my vip group and my vip group i usually don't i usually don't charge for my training trainings that's why i'm sharing all this for free just to be able to help you understand and be able to make the best out of the market but what i want to do is i just want to work with very serious people okay people who really want to take their trading journey to the next level because i've taken time to invest i've taken time to put in a lot of work put in a lot of effort tested tried failed blown accounts and i really don't want to sit down there wasting my time with someone who is not serious right so if you want to really get the settings for the 618 level if you want really to master this and if you want to work with me on a one-on-one -on -one basis to actually join my team, what you need to do is I have partnership with FXTM. So FXTM has been able to really be able to help me like work with people who are even amateurs, people who are actually beginning to trade and they are not profitable. Why? I have a copy trader with FXTM. So in case like you are not like understanding these trades and you're not confident in taking these trades the way I'm taking them, you can be able to have a copy trader whereby as you're learning, you're earning. There's nothing as boring in trading when you're just learning and learning and learning and you're making, you're making nothing out of it. And also if you're in Nairobi and you want to get and if you want to attend um, my physical classes, you can also send me a chat on my number 0792050166. Let me drop it here. 
I'll be able to tag you. Plus two five four, two five four, nine two zero, fifty one six six. So that's my number. Just send me a chat. Tell me you're on the training. And if you if you've liked the six one eight level, you want to know the settings of my Fibonacci. You've seen this is how simple it is. I also have bots that usually help me analyze the market. For me, all I just usually do is. I just come and take a look which currency is bullish, which currency is bearish. And all I do is I look at the at my 618 level on the one hour time frame. I look if we have an M50 and M5. It's so simple, it's so fun. If you also want to work with me on a one on one basis, I coach you on a one on one basis. You can also send me a DM and let's have a conversation and let's see how best I can be able to help you this work. That is if you've liked my strategy. Make sure you to always come on the Zoom calls to just be able to understand how I'm analyzing the market and how we can be able to learn together. I've not yet showed you other factors because of time. I usually also use the EMA here. You can see the EMA if you go into the four hours time frame. This is an indicator that I usually use. It's known as the EMA. I'll give you, I'll be sharing with you the settings of the EMA and how also you incorporate it to the 618 strategy. So we have like four minutes. Maybe I can allow if anyone has a question, a comment, if you have liked the 618 strategy or anything, you can share as I end the as, as I end the Zoom call. Anyone? Question, comment or allowed hello yes yeah nikona swali nilikuwa nataka to analyze a euro aud euro aud yeah nikona like 3 minutes right now this zoom call unless is zoom ikiisha you join again and then you can do yeah. the analysis the one that is not recorded Okay. So after, this, after this Zoom, when it's over, you can just join the Zoom again and then you can do the analysis of Euro AUD. And I'll tell you it's a currency that I will analyze or not. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? You see in the comments, this is going to. The 618 strategy seems so accurate, but now the challenge is how do you set it up? Yes, that's what I'm telling, I'm telling you like step by step, I'm going to be showing you how you're going to be setting up the 618. Also, if you want to fasten up the process, you can just send me a message on my number and we can have a call and I can be able to share with you like more on how you can be able to set it up more quickly but with time i'm going to be sharing i'm going to be sharing the details here on these zoom calls as we do the analysis but to be honest the exact settings on the fib and what that one i'll be able i'll just be giving the people who are in my vip okay also getting these entries make sure you always just come on these calls you'll be able to understand that was the biggest problem. How can I get these entries, right? The moment I discovered the 618 zone and you just want, you can just see how this trade does, as just like, it's it, it, it like pops, hits and reacts on it, hits and reacts on that zone. Uh, even, when, even when you look these other trades that we shared, okay? So precise, like, look, it just came, tapped, zero drawdown, tapped and dropped. If you come to the five minutes or one minute is when you'll be able to see it very well. Let me show you. You can see on this six one, this was our this this trade. This was our six on eight level, which was here. And then take a look at this. What was this? This was an M5 demand. Just tapped into this M5 demand tapped into this 618 and dropped. Uh, which other currency? This one, NZDCHF. Take a look at this. It tapped, tapped into this zone and dropped, okay? So, yes, 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 yes. 
All right, so thank you very much. Those ones who want to do some more analysis, you can jump after this call has ended. I'll be able to restart it. See you on the other call on Wednesday as I show you how to set up indicators and other things. This was just price action. Have a good time.